that delay has really messed up my sense of time because it is yet again time for another episode of What's in the Gacha Crate. That's not the name of the series, but as always, I have the uh, this month's Gacha Crate, which I think is November's uh, crate now, I presume. Uh, and as you can see on the site side, it is that's not the website. It is from that website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. As with every month, it contains six uh, random gacha, gachapon. Uh, are they either gachapon or gachapon? Um, well, I guess it depends how you pronounce them, wherever. And inside, we do indeed... Oh, okay, hang on. We've got this, which does indeed say it is November 2018. As always, I'm not going to flick through this because it tells you what the series are from. But yes, we have a nice assortment of six different gachapon uh, and a nice little Shiba Inu thing in its suit at the back. So, as always, I'm just going to grab one, really, and we'll get into it. Now, last month was incredibly good. Okay. Um, because it was Halloween-themed, and I really like Halloween things. Um, I've also realised, uh, when editing it, that that's two months in a row now when we've had a Pokemon item, which is really cool. So, fingers crossed for a third one. Uh, so, as always, I'm going to grab the little um, papery... <gasps> oh, yo, this is uh, Splatoon. Nice. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but... Iga... I... They're all Iga. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. That's... You can as well, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm guessing they're different... <laughs> it doesn't particularly help that this is printed in black and white, because, like, hey, what colour can you get? Kind of grey, lighter grey, white, black, and dark grey, and other things. Oh, man, and is is he one of the... I guess he's, like, the special one. Um, I can't remember what his name is now, the cats, but... Yeah, so, are they finger puppets? No? Okay, no. Anyway, um, <laughs> right, let's open this thing up. Ooh, I think I've got a blue one, because it's, because it's blue. Uh, right, let's see. Nice, okay. So I see, this, is that a bottle top, maybe? Is that something you put on the top? It's very well detailed, fair play. This, um, this will go really well, because I'm collecting the Splatoon amiibos, um, really like the design of Splatoon. The game itself is great as well, but like, the character designs and stuff are just really cool. Right, let's take a look at what exactly this thing is. Okay, this is indeed a Splatoon bottle cap, and I've realised there's been like a formatting error or something, because this is the text from uh, last month's Gacha Gacha kind of insert, because this describes that Disney, uh, and Disneyland particularly, is what made Halloween so popular in Japan. Because if you remember, there was the Disney, like, I got the Chip and Deal, like, pumpkin thing. So, yeah. That is a bottle cap. Um, that's kind of cool. I mean, obviously, if you're drinking from a bottle and you need a, you know, you need a break, you can just put a regular cap on. I don't think I'd use that like this. But it is nice nonetheless. I'll put that to the side. Not hit the side of the box. And we'll go with the one on the left. And yeah, as always, there's kind of like a selection, there's some, um, you know, like, licensed stuff, like the Splatoon thing. And of course, then there's other things, like that cat hat we got um, last month, I think it was last month. Right, let it, let's look at this. Okay, what? Is that the correct way up? Oh, wait, no, that is, sorry. Ooh, are these robots? Tsuso Kario. Uh, it's by Takaratomi. That's interesting. I don't think that's a Gundam, though. I think I'd... Re like, they look almost like Transformers. Are they Transformers? That's interesting. Okay, so they're kind of... Well, I mean, they've got mech kind of designs anyway, so, um... Let's delve into this... Oh, yo! That's really cool. Oh man, that's really cool. Okay, so I don't know what this is yet. I mean, this isn't like Kamen Rider or something, is it? Or either Kamen Rider or another Sentai show, maybe? 
but they do look like mechs. As I said, they look a bit transformery. Ah, oh, he's really cool though. I really like green as well. It's like my favourite colour. So, uh... Yo, is he like a lizard? Does he transform into a um, crocodile or something? Right, I'm going to see what this is because I'm really intrigued now. Alright, so this is Shinkalion Train Robo. He's no ordinary Gundam. Um, I'm not sure if that's the Rambaral reference. This is no G Zaku boy, no Zaku, but... Um, yeah, so they're, they're bullet trains that turn into robots. That... Man, that's really interesting. So, Shinkansen. So, I think this comes from the same thing that a Gajinka does, um, is. Which is like a um, person that dresses up as something. It's, uh, it's popular in Pokemon kind of things where people will dress up like their Pokemon or whatever. But yeah, this is really cool. So, it's meant to be a bullet train, but it turns into a robot. That... That's really interesting. We're at a really good start so far. Both of these have been like legitimately things I'd probably have bought myself if I saw them in the wild. Now we have a big one, which I think I may have to peel a lot of tape off, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, ooh, it's very sparkly. Is it Sailor Moon stuff? I believe it is, because that indeed is Sailor Moon. So, oh, I think I think we've got that one. I think that is literally... The, oh, maybe that one is golden red. Okay, so we've got some wand things. Um, I've I've never watched Sailor Moon. Uh, it's not that I have anything massively against... Oh, wait, no. Okay, it's the blue one. Um, not that I have anything against it or anything. It's just never been something I was into. Um, or they aired much, actually, over here. Uh, oh well, I never had the channels that aired it. Oh wow, yo, that's really shiny. These are high, really high quality, as is the other one I got um, in the September crate. Man, that that is really nice, actually. This is like, say, the Mars, Venus, I can't remember. There's also a chain that goes somewhere. So I'm going to try and work out where that goes. Oh, in there, right. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I've been defeated. Um, I can't fit it in. It's, it's kind of like a pretty small finicky thing and it goes through the hole there. I'm probably not going to use it like that anyway. Um, or use it at all, actually. I've got a friend that likes Sailor Moon stuff, so I may actually gift them some uh, some Sailor Moon gold shiny stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a cool item and stuff and honestly, really high quality. Um if if I knew more about the series or liked it more, that probably would have been a really, really cool catcher to get. So, what will the... Oh, hang on. I'll be back. Also, I forgot to say what this was. This is a Sailor Moon Prism Crystal Wand. And they're for helping you transform. Obviously, not really... Oh, oh, that's the one I got as well. Yay! There we are. Nice. Okay, I'm back. That was a really annoying one to open, actually. So, this is... Oh, it's Sanrio stuff, is it? This is incredibly pink. This is Sanrio characters. Well, wow. okay, I, I called it then. So, Hello Kitty, then I saw there was like that... That bird thing? I think it's a bird. I've seen it before. Um, ha, oh, that's really cute. Dog in the berry. I'm sure they all have names and stuff. Shinamoroku. Uh, is that one? Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, that's nice. They... Oh, do you put them on, like, uh... Oh, these charger things! Like, you put them on charging cables. That's really cool. So, which one did we get? Wait. Aha, right, okay. <laughs> I lost the, uh, gacha with it in for a second. I believe we have a duck. No, it's a person. I don't remember seeing that person on any of the... One's listed, actually. That's a bit weird. Okay. Um, we'll take a look, and then we'll look back. But, ah, oh, if he wants to focus. Ah, oh, that's really cute. Don't know who that guy is, or girl, or I think it's a guy? Maybe? So, yeah, you put, like, a cable through there. Is that, like, for your phones, maybe, I think? Because charging cables tend to be a bit thicker. Right, I'll, um, check back on this for a second. So, who do we have? Uh, oh, it's that person there. Um, yeah, not sure who that person is, but incredibly cute. Right, I will take a look. 
to see what exactly these are. These are Sanrio cable huggers, and indeed, as I said, they they attach to like cable. It says charger cords, but I don't know. I I swear, a lot of my um, charging cables that I use and stuff are a bit thicker than that. But then it does say snugly, so maybe that's the point. They kind of go around and you know keep it as it is. I'll I'll give it a try. Um, you know, I'll. <laughs> Yeah, not sure what I'll attach it to exactly. I mean, I do imagine these probably fall off quite a lot and stuff, but uh I'm sure if you're careful with it. Right, let's go for the... Ooh, these are the same size, basically. Because um, usually they, they put smaller ones. That I've noticed there's, like, two big ones uh, in the middle and the front and the back, and then the ones on the side tend to be a little bit smaller and sort of, like, the cheaper range, as it were. Anyway, yet again, I'm going to peel this off and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, I've opened it up, and uh, time to open this bit of paper up. Ooh, what does that say? I had it the wrong way around. Okay, I just noticed actually it says puti putito. Um, oh, 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 okay, wasn't expecting that. What? That. Pikachu, you, you doing okay, buddy? Um, right, these are, so there's six to collect, obviously those are two of them, and then those are the other ones. So Pikachu and Eevee, obviously, because Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are out on the Switch. Um, I, I have not bought either, actually, I'm a little bit behind on games and stuff, and I thought, well, I'm not going to get round to them for a while, uh, playing Red Dead 2 a lot. Anyway, we have an Eevee, I believe. Ah, oh, it's a sleeping Eevee! Ah, oh, that's really cute! Okay then, wow, that's really nice. You know, I like the, um, I know there's a lot of different gatches along the lines of this, sort of like the sleeping um, evolutions and stuff and things like that. Ah, oh, this is really cute actually. Ah, oh, and they've even detailed her little paw things. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a lot more pleased with this than I originally thought I was. When I saw it, I was just like... Oh, okay, they're like cable hugger things as well, but I don't think... I mean, maybe some of them are, but oh, that's really precious. That's, um, yeah, that's really cute. I'll check out exactly what these are. These are Pikachu and Eevee cup hangers. Now, that would explain exactly what the hell this one is. Obviously, it does say there that some of them you can, like, perch them somewhere. Um, that's clearly the one I've got, because I don't think that Eevee's going to balance on the edge of a cup or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. I've, I've always kind of wanted cup hanger things. Um, not for any practical use, admittedly. They just get in the way, but they're really cute. And that leaves us with one left. The big one. The blue one. The one that's absolutely covered in tape, so give me a minute. Alright, I am back, and it's time to open up the last thing. Get the paper out. Didn't see what that was. Kevin? Nope. Pocket can Candema. Candema 2. Pocket Candema 2. Okay. What? Okay. Oh, is this no, hang on, no. I thought this was like the bowl and cup game, but it's very clearly not. So there's Fujiyama, there's Zumadanke, there's Border, Leopard Print, Gradation. Panda, orange, and a QR code. Well, all right then. I I will open it up, and ooh, it looks like we have one of them, which is true, I suppose. Yes, we have border. Okay, good. Maybe I don't know. Um, what are these? Ooh, oh right. Okay, ah. Oh, it is a cup game thing, is it? Maybe? Yes? No? Uh, hang on. I'll try and undo this. I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is like a cup ball game. Um, I'm not going to do it till I get it in, because I'm absolutely not going to. But, yeah, it's got like, so you kind of hold it there, and then you swing it up, and obviously the thing is to make it land in there, like that. Yay! See? Um... Yeah, I'll double check that I have got this right, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I was correct. Yes, Candem is basically the 
bowl and cup kind of game thing with the string. It's obviously in a smaller thing. And yeah, on reflection, it's actually really cool. It's sort of, um, it's a nice way to display it as well, I think. And, you know, obviously then you can just play with it a little bit. I suppose you could challenge yourself and try and... Wait a second, this, that one's bigger than the other one. So I suppose you could, like, aim for smaller and smaller amounts or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make an MLG compilation of me doing it because um, I don't want to flex on y'all. But that's that's really cool, actually. Yeah, right. I'm going to go arrange them all in a satisfying manner and I'll be right back. All right, I am back with all of them. So, yeah, I've got to say, I think this month has been the best month so far. I know I said that last month as well. But really, the only, like... Not even a disappointment. I guess the low, the lowest part of it is the Sailor Moon thing because, again, I don't really understand it. And shiny gold isn't exactly my favourite thing on anything. But, you know, it looks really nice. And, again, obviously, it's just because I'm not a fan. It's not because the item's bad. Sleeping Eevee is absolutely adorable. I, um, I shall add her to my Pokemon display. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really nice to see them not just in their like default kind of poses and stuff. So uh, that that gets a big thumbs up. This is adorable. Still don't know who that is. I'm, I'm not a big Sanrio person, but it's very much appreciated. And it's very Gachafon-esque, if that makes sense. This is really cool. Love, I you know, any any chance to get more squid from Splatoon, I'm um, I'm more than happy with. Okay, you, you have a sleep then. Uh, this guy, he can't stand up for the life of him, but is really, really cool. I, um, yeah, I really like the design and stuff. It's like, it's a weird robot thing, and, um, you know, weird robots is kind of what I'm all about. And that thing in the back is really, really cool. I'll probably have a go at it and stuff, because, um, I don't know, I, I like things that kind of keep my hands busy and stuff, if you know what I mean. Kind of like a fidget spinner, but slightly less pointless. Slightly. And yeah, it just looks really cool as well. So yeah, overall, this has been a really good month. Um, as I said, a lot of these things I'd have probably bought if I saw them in the wild. Um, at least those, those uh, you know, those three there. The other things are incredibly nice as well. So um, as with the loot anime situation, my renewal auto renewed, and I forgot to cancel it. So it looks like we'll be doing another three months of Gacha Gacha Crate. Which I don't mind, honestly, because I've been having a wheel of a time. These have been really cool. So, until next video, goodbye.